You're just in time. Please follow me to Subcommander Cole. Thank you for reporting so promptly. Here is the situation. A Voth scientist has requested asylum, bringing with him information vital to our understanding of the sphere. We now know why it generates vast amounts of Omega particles. It is designed to use those particles as fuel to jump to any area of space. There is a space station that controls the jumps in close orbit of the sphere's star. Admiral Tuvok from Starfleet was selected to lead a small team to the station to try to disable it. With him is Dr. Eric Cooper, a scientist who has been studying Dyson and Iconian technology. Something's gone wrong. Two hours ago, we received a distress signal from Tuvok. Please use the console to download the signal. Afterward, I'd like to hear your opinion of the situation. The attack on the Voth fleet will commence shortly. Captains, please return to your ships. Tuvok and Koopa are stranded with an entire Voth fleet bearing down on them. I need you to fly to the station, rescue our team, and finish the mission. Our fleet will engage the Voth to help keep them distracted. But to avoid detection, you'll need to fly roughly 100 kilometers above the surface of the star. The Voth are actively scanning for ships approaching the station. They can detect our cloaked ships, which is another issue we're trying to solve. This is our best option. The star's magnetic field will make it impossible for most sensors to pick up your ship. With luck, your ship will not have to fly close to the star's surface for very long. Speak with the logistics officer assigned to brief your crew on the situation. With your permission, we can help your engineers set up a temporary modulation for your shield frequencies that should allow your ship to travel that close to the sun safely. Greetings. Our engineers are working with your crew now to create a temporary modulation program that will help your shields protect your ship from the heat and radiation you will encounter on your way to the sun station. Your ship should be able to safely make the trip, but it won't be able to remain in orbit of the station. We will need every available ship to fight the Voth. It would be best if your ship joined the fleet once you are aboard the station. Your goals on the station are to find Admiral Tuvok, assist him to shut down the sphere's jump capabilities, and then retreat before the Voth fleet arrives. Do you have any questions? Admiral Tuvok traveled to the station in a new starship, specifically designed to withstand the conditions there. The Dyson has reported some technical issues, but they should still be in transporter range. It will be standing by to assist you when you've completed your mission.
recommend that you speak to your crew before transport. Your vessel will not be able to remain in range for long. Greetings, I am Admiral Tuvok. The man behind the crates is Dr. Eric Cooper, the Federation Science Council's expert on Dyson technology. I... Uh, yes! H hello! I'm Dr. C Cooper! Allow me to brief you on the situation, so we may determine the best plan of action. Main power is offline. I am not sure what caused this disruption, but the event was fortunate. The darkness is a distinct tactical advantage. There are manual overrides in each room. I have temporarily disabled the one between us and the Voth. Unfortunately, the Dyson's captain did not survive the Voth's initial assault. There are two generator rooms that control much of the station's operations. The generator room to the south controls the power. The control room to the west, where the Voth are, maintains the station's jump capabilities. It is imperative we reach the West Control Room and disable it before the Voth jump this sphere back to their space. The release of the Omega Particles needed for this reaction would be catastrophic. More than the two of us can safely engage. Defeat would be certain. However, if we restore main power, we can use the station's automated defenses to even the odds if we can avoid being targeted by them ourselves. I understand you have extensive combat experience. Do you have any suggestions? I have attempted to hail them, but received no response. The ship's shields and hull plating are designed to withstand the extreme amounts of heat, pressure, and radiation generated by this sphere's star. However, it is a prototype vessel on its first voyage there were several unexpected system failures. The communications array must be among them. The ship has retreated to a safe location to make repairs. Until they are able to complete them, they will not be able to assist us. We're moving away from the Voth, right? Sensors are detecting a Voth battle mech ahead. I recommend we perform a more detailed scan to ensure it is deactivated. The pilot of this battlesuit may have been killed in the fighting. However, we do not know what else we will find on this station. We must move forward. The trapped Voth will be attempting to circumvent my modifications. What do you suggest? I thought I saw something. Remain calm, Doctor. The defenses in here can be quite lethal. It was awful. The sounds, the blood. Ugh.
I will stand watch while you and the doctor examine the generator. If I understand this correctly, we can restore main power activating consoles that match the symbol up here. After the first one is activated, we'll only have 20 seconds to activate the other two. If we don't, the system will defend itself. Also, activating the wrong consoles will trigger the system's defenses. Be careful. Looks right. That looks right. That did it. The final console is unlocked. This does not bode well. By restoring main power, we have released the locks, preventing the Voth from reaching our location. They will already be on the move. We will require Cooper's assistance to subvert the automated defenses for our own use. The Doctor is an expert in the technology found on the sphere. This is well within his capabilities. What are we going to do? The Voth will be here any second, and I don't think they're in the mood to take prisoners. Please, you have to get me out of here. I'm not like you and Tuvok. I'm much too important to die here. My help? What could I do? You and Tuvok have done everything so far. I don't even know how to use a phaser. I just want to go back to my lab. I was never meant for field work. Tuvok said that? Well, maybe. I might know the technology, but I don't work well under pressure. I need time and space to think, and I need to be able to do my work without fear of being killed. I can't help you. I'm sorry. All right, I'll try. If we're here, and the station's defenses are active, but we're not under attack. But if that's the case, wait, I can do this. Just give me a moment. I think if I try this... Dr. Cooper, we require a solution. I'm working on it. Vulcans. If I can just try that... Yes, I have it. I've done something. I'm not ready for what's being thrown at me here. Maybe I could activate the beams? Or something else? Allow me, Doctor. Fascinating. With this exposed, I can manually activate the defenses in the next room. However, there is another possibility. Instead of activating the defenses to assist you, I can reroute the power to attempt to send a message to our stranded ship. It may not help, but we have been out of contact for hours. Your options are activating the defense beams, activating swarmers, or using none of them. Slim enough that I cannot recommend it. However, if you choose to do so, I will support you. I can alter the programming of the security swarmers that normally patrol this area. They will attack the Voth but they also will attack us if there are no other targets. The Swarmers will provide a distraction for us, but they could also be a liability. Do you want me to activate the Swarmers? 
I can activate beams of energy that will shoot down in set periods of time. I do not have any further control than that. But you could lure some of the Voth into the beams. The beams are quite deadly, so I would advise keeping your distance. This would be our easiest option against the Voth, but if we are not careful, we could be caught in the beams. Would you prefer I activate the beams? I'll wait here. You go on ahead. We should move forward. Be on your guard. Voth soldier is activating the battle suit. That was an explosion of sufficient magnitude to cause a breach. Doctor, what is your status? I'm fine, I'm fine. The Voth can't get in. You, uh, may want to put a shield up around the next door before you open it. It would appear all that is between us and our goal is the vacuum of space. My modification successfully locked the Voth out of this area. However, there was an armed Voth battle suit in the corridor. The station's automated swarmers attacked, and this is the result. No response. According to my readings, there is no method of direct access. Unless your ship is within range, we are stranded. I'm here! I'm here! Wait! Doctor, we require a way to access the other areas of the station. Your thoughts? Uh, I have an idea, but you may not like it. Those EV suits over there, they have maneuvering jets that we could use on the outside of the station. I've looked them over, and they should be able to withstand the heat of the sun. Should? Well, nothing will withstand that much heat and radiation for long. The suits appear to be designed for use in the shadow of the station. But, technically, they can keep us safe. For a little while. They will have to suffice. We have no other logical option. Doctor, are you going to prepare your suit? Me? Of course not! It's far too risky for me to go out there! We will need to convince Cooper to overcome his fear and help us complete our mission. Do you really need me out there? Internal comms are still active. I could just tell you what you have to do. I really can't stand any more stress. I have no idea why Admiral Tuvok chose me for this project. I'm not trained for field work. 
If I get home alive, I'm writing a letter to the Federation Science Council. I'll file a formal complaint! The Voth? I thought you defeated them all. They're not going to come back, are they? I can't be alone if they come back. They'll kill me! They'll rip me apart! Okay, I'll do it. I can't fight the Voth alone. Click here to activate your EV suit. I suggest flying safe distance before I charges. The door is sealed. Any ideas, Doctor? There should be a manual release for the locks above us. I will establish a shield. These suits are fried. I doubt they'll be much use anymore. Your EV suit does not protect you in combat. Re-equip your... Something has closed the doors. Most unsettling. I think the station's defenses are activating! We should move forward before more defenses activate. Consoles should provide a measure of safety.
shields will hold. Our destination is ahead. We must power down the room's shielding to access the control panels. The doctor and I will continue our work while you disable the lower panels. Good work. Reactivate the shields and we can complete our mission. The honor of deactivating the station is yours. There we go. The deactivation program is moving nicely. Doctor, I'm detecting something curious. Energy levels in the gateway in front of us are rising at an exponential rate. It appears to be activating. What? L let me check. Oh, this is not good. The gateway is designed to be an escape hatch in the event this station goes offline. We cannot deactivate the jump protocols without activating the gateway as well. Is there any way to override the protocols? None that I can see. If we want to stop the jump, we have to activate that gate. It seems we have little choice. Your thoughts? As Tuvok said, we have no choice. If we want to stop this sphere from moving, we need to activate the gateway. Our time here is limited. The Voth will return in force. We have to do this now. There is no other option. I know you have a past with the Iconian gateways, but our options are limited. The choice is logical. If the Voth jump the sphere to an area near their homeworld, billions of Omega particles will be expended. With the degradation of the sphere's systems caused by centuries of disuse, there is an 86.8% chance that the expenditure will cause an Omega detonation, destroying subspace across a vast region of the Delta Quadrant. The alternative is opening a single gateway. That is far less of a risk. I'm so sorry. I wish I could have found a better way. I failed you both. Do not dwell on this. If there was another option, we would have found it. One moment. We are being hailed. Tuvok here. Chief Engineer Tarkrum of the Dyson here, Admiral. Acknowledged, Chief. Are all of your systems restored? The opening of the gateway cleared up the ambient distortion disruptions. Do you need transport? Yes. I want to get off this station now. We are ready to depart. Chief, do you have a lot? Admiral Tuvok, come in! Dyson, three to beam up. We can't get a lock. You need to get out of the hot zone. Move! Good to have you on board, sir. I I'm Chief Engineer Tarkrum. The fleet and your ship are still engaged with the Voth, but several Voth ships are making their way towards the Gateway. One of their dreadnoughts has already passed through. As the only available ship, 
We have orders to stop the other Voth from entering the gateway. Dreadnought did go through the gateway. If my readings are correct, it is passing into another Dyson Sphere, this one deeper in the Delta Quadrant. If the Voth are allowed to enter another sphere, they will try to claim it, as they have fought to claim this one. Navigational readings indicate we are in the Delta Quadrant. However, we are inside a Dyson Sphere, and there are no known structures of this type in this region. I'm detecting the presence of a Starfleet vessel, the USS Gold. That ship disappeared on a survey of the Janolan Dyson Sphere at the precise instant the Iconian Gateway Network was reset to save New Romulus. This sphere was discovered by the crew of the USS Janolan in 2294. The USS Enterprise D rescued Montgomery Scott a survivor of the Janolan 75 years later. However, it now appears that the Janolan sphere had the same jump capabilities as the Solanae and moved to this location with the gold inside. I am detecting disabled systems on the gold, but there is no weapons damage. Also, sensors indicate that the Voth Dreadnought has its weapons armed, but has not fired. What do you suggest? Sphere when something happened. Systems that have been dormant for centuries activated. The energy readings were off the scale. Then a flash and... My nav computer claims we're in the Delta Quadrant. If that's right, this entire Dyson Sphere somehow moved itself more than 50,000 light years from its previous position. Since then, we've been stuck. I would have taken Voyager's path back home if we could get out of the Sphere. The doors were locked tight, and the gateway powered down as soon as we arrived. Glad to have the help. Supplies are running low. But what was that ship that just passed us? Shares some signs of Voth tech, but our databanks don't have anything like that. Another Dyson Sphere? It's taken us 40 years to study this one, and we're not even close to understanding it. And if that ship was Voth, would explain why they ignored our hails. They came in with their weapons armed and then simply stopped. Didn't see us as a threat. The ship set course for the sealed door and is just sitting there. They're ignoring us. I promised my crew we'd get home. If you could send over a team with some spare components, I can get this ship ready to travel.
I have extensive experience with the Voth. While they are arrogant, it is not like them to completely ignore a potential threat. It may be that they sense a greater danger. I suggest we approach and attempt to hail them. Voyager found that some Voth were open to negotiation. We should make every attempt to find a peaceful solution. The Voth are moving towards the door. Tuvok? Your query will have to wait, Doctor. Shields are down and we... Uh, you're not... <laughs> you're not Cooper. The weak shall perish! Captain, the Undine outside of the Sphere are powering weapons. The Mammalian ship is still disabled. Arm all weapons. We will destroy the creatures and then return for the mammals. I... I am unharmed. But we are in danger. We are deep within the Delta Quadrant, right where Cooper wanted us. We do not know how long this infiltrator has impersonated Cooper, or the extent of what he has done. However, I am quite familiar with the tactics of Species 8472. We will repel the Undine, and survive to warn the Alpha Quadrant of the renewed threat. Finally, a worthy adversary for my new ship. ships on approach. This vessel cannot defeat them alone. This ship can take it. I have experience with the Undine. You do not. They are extremely dangerous. The Lasset is here to provide any assistance you require.
three Humvee battleships inbound. Three battleships? <sighs> that may be a problem. We hold here. None of the Undine get through. The Fortescue is here. Now the real fight can begin. It is not over yet, Captain. Two Undine Dreadnoughts are approaching. Congratulations on a successful mission. Now the Romulan Republic will take over. We'll set up a command center for further operations. I'm sure command will contact you when your presence is needed. No! This ends now! Our generosity to the Romulans can only extend so far! The Klingon Empire claims this Dyson Sphere as its own! Starfleet and the Republic would be wise to keep their distance. Or... Else. Oh? Are you prepared to back that statement with action? The Klingon Empire has restrained itself again and again in an attempt to maintain this alliance with the Romulans. I think it's time I remind you of what happens when a Klingon loses patience. Fighting over this sphere is not an option. It would divide our strength. Precisely what would benefit the Undine. The Voth chose to fight instead of cooperate. They were destroyed. We can choose not to be enemies. It is time we did so. The Klingon Empire will not sit and wait while the Federation and Romulans continue to claim these powerful weapons for themselves. This conversation is not over. The Romulan Republic will continue to take responsibility for areas within our jurisdiction, but I do not wish to cause a rift in what has been a successful joint action. However, 
I will not be put in a position where I must choose between the Federation and the Klingon Empire. We have agreements on both sides that must be honored. Subcommander Cole can handle the details. I am a ship captain, not an administrator. Cooper's departure has lifted the miasma in my mind. An affliction that I did not even realize was there. He was influencing me. He used the psychic abilities of the Undine to influence my thoughts. And the results are an effect of my failure. I should have been able to detect his influence. We have fulfilled our mission to neutralize the jump capabilities of the Solanay Sphere, only to open up a gateway that the Undine can now use to reach our space. They will no longer have to create rifts from fluidic space. Was this Cooper's plan all along? I suggest we return to Subcommander Cole. We must attempt to save the fragile peace of the Alliance. The Sphere is under Federation control! This Sphere is only accessible through an Alliance-controlled gateway. Then perhaps it is time to end this Alliance! This is neither the time nor the place for this. Commander Jarak is correct. The Undine are a threat to us all. Now they have direct access to our space. I propose a summit. We must decide together what we must do to protect the Alpha Quadrant. Our disputes may need to be put aside in the face of a greater enemy. I volunteer to mediate these talks. Dr. Cooper manipulated me to achieve his goals. It is only logical that I take responsibility for what has happened here. Very well, Vulcan. We will finish this later.